Alright guys, I got another uh, quick holster video for you. This time it's on a Galco Stow and Go. It carries my uh, LCR-357 and the gun is safety checked. You can see the ammo to the, uh, to the left. Uh, this has been the only holster uh, for this gun since I got it and we're going on now four months of... Uh, this is my ev uh, everyday carry gun too. Uh, we're going on four months of carry uh, in this holster and I really like the holster. Uh, I picked it up off Amazon for uh, I think it was around 26 and change with free shipping and for that price you really can't beat it I highly recommend it for anyone who is uh, going to be carrying say a, uh, a small revolver or a semi-automatic pistol I can't give you a reference on, on a larger gun say a Glock 19 but uh, for, for a small uh, pocket pistol as they say I highly recommend it because you can carry it inside the waistband as I do I carried it I carried it, I want to say, uh, uh, between the 12 and 1 o'clock position towards the inner thigh on the right-hand side, and I forget it's there. And I've also carried it without a belt on, and it, had, it doesn't move. Um, and then another way I carry it is uh, pocket carry, uh, not in my pants, but in my coat pocket, um, in the right coat pocket, and it, it carries well in the holster. Um, again, it's the Galco Stow and Go. Uh, model number STO158 and I have the box right here I just want to show you uh, that it does fit a variety of uh, other two inch revolvers so if you have a J frame and an LCR you can use the same holster if you want to do that but um, some of the features uh, it covers a trigger really nice I mean nothing's getting inside that trigger guard and, and it's going to cause an accidental discharge um, it has a reinforced uh, double stitch at the bottom so you don't have to worry about that separating and I've had it for four months as I said carrying it every day and I haven't had any issues there are a couple things that I'll get to that uh, people pointed online but I haven't experienced them one thing I did notice uh, let me remove the gun because I don't want to never point a gun at anyone especially yourself but um you can see here from when I carry inside the waistband this uh, it does have a little bit of extra material underneath the muzzle. Uh, it doesn't get in the way. It's not a complaint. It's just something I noticed. Uh, you can see that right there, and it, it kind of curved one way, so you can tell which side I carry on the right side. But um, again, it's not a complaint. It doesn't bother me in any way. Um, another thing people were having an issue about was it has this large. I want to say it's an inch and a half size clip. Um, it's a really nice big clip that's going to give you plenty of security when you put it on your belt. Um, and I've carried it with a belt and it doesn't move once these are. Uh, it has hooks on each side. You can see there that hook underneath the belt and it stays in place. Uh, one negative to this holster is you can't uh, position it, say, at a back angle or cant it forward if you want to. Um, it can only go one way vertically. So that, that's one draw if you want to carry uh, on a cant. You can't do it with this holster. Um, now, to the complaint of, uh, I'm just going to put the gun in to show you, um, when I put this in my belt, I'll grip the gun with my bottom two fingers, and with my index finger, I'll just lift up, there's a little notch here, um, and then holster it in my pants. Now, I can understand if people are lifting up too far because it's plastic, say you're lifting up that much every time you're going to holster, I could see a crack maybe starting in the back here, um, right here and maybe a hairline crack where it causes that to snap off. I could see that breaking. But other than that, I, I haven't experienced that. Um, no complaints so far, and it, we're going on four months. Um, the clip is stitched in to the back of the holster, and it's also riveted, so you know it's not going anywhere. Even if that loosens up, it's also riveted to the holster. Um, another complaint people were saying online was uh, that this mouth up here collapses say you're carrying inside the waistband and they were unable to reholster I'm not sure if this is a new design but um, this is a reinforced mouth up top which is nice again for twenty six dollars you're getting a lot in a little package that's why I highly recommend it um, this is a has a piece of steel going around it that's reinforced so it keeps the mouth open but again um, I haven't really tried reholstering why it's inside the waistband but I can see, say it's sandwiched together like that, I could see uh, not being the easiest, like a Kydex holster or maybe a leather holster that's reinforced, but uh, you could get the gun in there. Um, on another note, too, it does have a little, pra practically no retention. You can see the gun just falls out when I shake it. 
but uh, it, it does stay in place when it's in your pants as I said before and I just want to show you real quick you can see uh, on the LCR the sight picture right here these two lines um, there is a little bit of a break-in period but the point I want to make is it really molds to the gun I mean there are the two sight pictures from the LCR um, you have your cylinder right here your release button um, and then the cylinder on the other side so it really shapes to the gun well um, again it's the Galco Stow and Go model number STO uh, 158 I highly recommend it if you're going to be getting a little revolver like the LCR um, and I've watched other videos uh, I think the other one uh, the guy had a car um, a small car pistol and he highly recommended this holster and he did a year of carrying it with it and uh, no problems whatsoever again I have it for four months now and I, I highly recommend it. I like it. It's probably going to be the holster I'm going to continue to use for this gun um, until it wears out or maybe the stitching undone. But uh, I think Galco offers a lifetime warranty. Um, so that's my review on the holster. Uh, if you like it, comment down below uh, if you have one. Rate, subscribe also if you want to. And uh, I did just put up a video. Um, I was recently out exercising, walking whatever late at night and I was stopped and and practically harassed by I want to say eight cops because there was a break in the area and uh, I just put up a video talking about my experience with that and it was kind of funny because they I told them right away um, that I had a firearm and a license to carry and when they checked out the gun and they were sending me on my way um, they actually gave the gun to me unloaded and told me not to load the firearm till I was back in my house Again, I still had probably 15 minutes to walk, so that kind of defeats the purpose of a concealed carry when I'm carrying an unloaded gun. I'm not sure if they, legally they were allowed to do that, um, but they told me not to load the gun until I got home. If you want to check out that video, uh, I appreciate it. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm out.